gonna be filming this video without a microphone. I really hope that doesn't piss anyone off. <laughs> Turns out it takes eight hours to charge. Hey there, I'm Georgia and today I'm just gonna be doing a little Q&A as I haven't done one in a while and look, I just, I had no video ideas. <laughs> I know that Q&A videos don't really perform that well in the algorithm anymore, but I don't care. I want to feel like I'm connecting to my audience again and talking to you guys, so. I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me some questions. And here are some that I'm going to answer. And no, this seat is not usually sitting just right above my staircase. I just thought it looks nice for the video. Have you ever considered doing another job? Uh, no. No, I haven't. I think what is scaring me though is knowing that this job might not be forever. I don't know. We don't know what will happen. Maybe YouTube will have another like peak again. As I know a lot of people are getting really sick of short form content and like how it's just frying our brains and frying our dopamine receptors and we just feel a lot better when we watch long things. But um, I haven't considered anything else so it does scare me to think that like maybe I might not be doing this in the future. I don't know. It's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> What are some of your regrets? <laughs> I want to say not reaching out to friends enough and not asking my friends if they're okay. Being too self-centered to care about the people in my life that were really important to me and not giving enough effort in kind of reminding them of how important they were. Also just saying things before I think. I have a lot of those moments. Another regret of mine would be not continuing cheerleading. I was really, really good at that sport. And I just, I just stopped. I just gave up. If I could just go back right now and do it again, I would. <laughs> but I'm very, very much behind now. Wearing my sister's clothes for a week until she notices. Honey, this is a Q&A. I think someone missed the memo with this one. <laughs> do you think you'll ever have kids? Oh, This is a good question. I hope that one day I'll be ready. Um, but pregnancy, giving birth, it scares me so much. <laughs> it scares me, man. It scares me. I think it is normal to be scared of that, but I just hope that one day that fear will go away. There's just so many aspects about it that scare me, and it's probably just because I'm not ready yet. One of them being is that my mum was a brilliant mother to me growing up, and still is. And the expectations for a mum that I now have is very, high. I think I'm worried that I'll never live up to those expectations that I have. The fear of failure scares me and I would never want to let anyone down <laughs> basically. Because mum never let me down. I love you mum. What's your fave pasta? This is a great question. I love how out of all these questions that I had come through I was like can answer that one. Yeah. Oh darling I um I love a good tortellini boscaiola from Cronides. That shit just it's got a chokehold on me like no other. I also think one of the best pastas I ever was in one of my HelloFresh boxes. I'm not kidding. I will put the recipe up here if I can find it. And I swear to God, you'll love it. Ooh, like all the flavors just go so well together. The garlic, the honey, the bacon, the pumpkin. Ugh. Oh, it's so... <clears throat> it's just so good. I can guarantee you'll love it. And if you don't, I will send you my left pinky toe in the mail. Express post. Send me a DM if you try it. Let me know what you think. Plans once you're done with... Okay, well, I sense a bit of foreshadowing here with these questions. I get it, okay? It's not 2019 anymore. Ooh. I'm not done yet, okay? I'm not done. A period craving's normal. Yes, very normal. <laughs> For example, um, I don't I don't usually eat chocolate. Um, I'm more of a savory girl. But when I'm on my period, I'm like a freaking like raccoon in a garage. I'm like... <laughs> That was very ironic. Just picked up this pad box <laughs> from my little recycling pile in the corner here that you can't see because it's off camera. Are you still friends with the Clark family? Uh, yes, of course. They're also part of the Ampler fam. I love the Clarks, they're all very beautiful people. Why is G Thanks ending? So if you didn't already know, my sister and I's podcast G Thanks has come to an end, unfortunately. But you know what? I am so, so proud of the community that we created, all of us, over on Spotify. It was such a tight knit community and it was a place where I felt like I could just be myself and just say anything and you guys wouldn't care. All the episodes are still up if you'd like to listen. And I'm so proud of the fact that we had three seasons of G Thanks, meaning it was renewed three times and also meaning it was the longest running Spotify original podcast in the world. It, it might still be, I don't know. But that was huge. That was really huge. And to answer your question, it wasn't our decision, but hey, all good things come to an end. So thank you so much Spotify and thank you to everyone who listened to G Thanks. Whether you were just a casual listener or you listened to every episode, me and Lil appreciate you so much and it was it was our, our little like tight knit community. We loved it. Also, I can you know what? No, I can say this now. G Thanks accumulated 4 million streams. 
I can't believe people listen to our voices four million times. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need a pen at all? <laughs> so, you have a BF. Yes, I do, Bindi. By the way, can I just say, freaking love your name. He's not home at the moment, he's at work doing real big boy, real work things. <laughs> like, you know, the, the, the kind of work where you, um, you use uh, numbers and you talk to other people. <laughs> And you like work in like an, an office, and you you have like uh, like hours and stuff. Yeah, he's he's there at the moment. So my boyfriend's name is Sam. We've been dating for almost two years. Um, and the reason you might not know about him is because I don't really post about my relationship, and that's not it's not even something that I'm really conscious of. I just you know when I'm with my boyfriend, I'm with my boyfriend. I don't just want to be shoving a camera in his face all the time because man, that shit would get exhausting. <laughs> Are you gonna keep doing? <clears throat> Are you still flexible? <laughs> Hell to the no, to the no, no. Well, that's pretty good. No, I, I'm not. Um, let's see if I can still do this split. Oh, I, oh my god, that was my good leg. I can't even do the splits on my good leg anymore. I'm gonna see if I can still do a bridge. <laughs> I haven't tried this in a good six years, but for some reason in my head I was like, yeah, I can still do that. This was something I could do with ease. Come on, come on, we can do this. Oh my god. I'm gonna need three to five business days to recover from that one. Hang on, just give me a sec. My stomach actually felt like it was gonna, like, snap. You are a last girl! Together. If you watched my videos back in like 2014, 2015, first of all, thanks for sticking around. <laughs> You're a real one. Second of all, I am so sorry because that was equally as devastating for me to watch. I can't believe I can't do that anymore. What is the secret to your beauty? Please answer. <laughs> Stop it. I didn't put this question in there just for my ego. What do you mean? <laughs> That's a very, very sweet thing to say. I honestly owe my skin to Ole. I know that I've been partnered with them for like years but the reason is is because i genuinely live by ole i use it all the time and especially their super serums their niacinamide one girl i'm many things but i'm not a gatekeeper all right there is one beauty secret that i will tell anyone who has hooded eyes get onto false eyelashes especially little wispy ones and wait wait okay before you add those damn adele demi wispies to cart Hold up, okay, listen if you do buy a strip lash you want to chop it in half and you're just going to use like say that much for the end of your eyelash. You don't need... Go. You do not need a full, like, strip lash. You don't. If you're anything like me and you've got tiny hooded eyes, strip lashes look freaking ridiculous, okay? They're flapping about in the wind and you've always got that, like, little sticky outy bit that you can, you just want to, like, you know, you're looking at someone and you just want to, like, like, press it down for them. It's like... Twang, like it's sticking up like that. Do yourself a favor, all right? Go into Mecca, buy these. I'll whack it up on the screen here. Individual lashes. I usually use the medium and long ones because I like a bit more of a dramatic look. A pack of 50, I think it is, is only like $24. And for the love of God, do not get them mixed up with the Mecca Max ones, okay? These ones, we don't get along. And if you actually want to like know how I make them look quite natural, go on my Instagram, please, right now, and comment saying I want the lash tutorial. Um, and I'll do like a little tutorial on my Instagram or TikTok or something. Are you gonna come back to the UK? I am indeed, Amelia. My partner and I will be coming back to the UK in December. We're going there for about like a month and a bit, so we're gonna have a lot of time. If you're from the UK and you've been watching my videos for a while and you want to meet me, please comment on this video so I can get kind of like a gauge of just how many people would actually come to a meet and greet if I did one in the UK. Because I've been wanting to do a meet and greet in the UK for years. Literally years. But then COVID hit and then uh, travel was really expensive. But I still want to do it. I haven't forgotten about you, I promise. Do you still talk to the Norris Nuts? Okay. I'm answering this question because I get it nearly every time I do a QA. and a And still to this day, I get comments on my YouTube channel and my Instagram about these people. I'm going to try, I'm going to say this, see how it looks in the edit. Might cut it out. I'm not someone on YouTube that like ever wants to start drama or anything, or stir the pot or anything. But you know what? Just this once, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a little stir. Maybe maybe once. 
maybe one little 360. Woo! Like maybe just, oh, did I stir it? Oh, I don't know. Oh. oh, they were just the most amazing kids. Very, very talented, very outgoing, um, hilarious kids. I think we just grew apart as YouTube channels. Over the past like four years, I think that a lot of people are becoming more aware of like family vlogging channels and just like how, like where do you draw the line? And I think it's really dangerous to have your entire family life documented on online. And um, when I was younger, I didn't really see the issue. And now that I'm an adult and um, you know, I know the, the dark side of the internet, unfortunately, and I know, I know what type of people are out there. I also know the ins and outs and the algorithm and why people do what they do, why they put out what they put out. This is just my opinion on all family channels. By the way, I'm really not singling anyone. I don't believe that millions upon millions of strangers need to know when your 12 year old daughter gets their first period. I think that's a real true invasion of privacy and I think it's a really odd thing to be encouraging your child to do. Um, I just, I do think that they know that I do have a different opinion. And I made a TikTok like last year um, and it actually, it wasn't about them, but I think that they thought it was and they blocked me. So <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. So the answer is no. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. There's, there's the two. Oh, 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 it's hot. Oh, there's the tea. Yeah, I, I still adore them. I think they're beautiful. And <laughs> if I ran into them, I'd offer them a hot chockey. You know what I mean? Have you ever tried smoking? No. I have once tried a vape, like a little puff. Hated it. Coughed everywhere. Splattered. Just. <coughs> Um, if you want my opinion on that, I think smoking is, is just stupid, okay? Kids, if you're listening, putting anything in your lungs that's not just pure oxygen is stupid. So if you're a young person that just vapes because they think it's cool, you'll be dodging the coffin by the time you're 40 duh. What would you say to 16-year-old Georgia? I would sit her down and I'd be like, hey, hey babe, how's it going? Yeah, so um, just thought I'd let you know, uh, there's a difference between being inspired by someone and just flat out copying them, okay? <laughs> I just, I think that analyzing every kind of mannerism of Liza Koshy and then adapting it to your own YouTube videos is probably copying. <laughs> you are good enough just the way you are and people will love Georgia for Georgia. Stop trying to be someone else, babe. <laughs> That's what I would say to her. Last question. Weirdest thing you thought was true when you were a kid? <laughs> this is such a good question. For the 27 people who are still watching, hi. <laughs> uh, this is like 100% true by the way. When I was a kid, when I would watch like uh, the weather forecast in the morning, I would just always think that the weatherman was just like really good at guessing. Like they'd be sitting there and they'd be like, oh, we're expecting a bit of hail, you know, along the coast. And then the next day it would hail. And I'm like, listen to that, it's hail. Oh, God, he's good. Uh, that's just something that took me way too long to learn. I thought weather forecasters were just really good at guessing. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm not going to really bother with an outro because everyone stopped watching already. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram if you don't already, at Georgia McCudden. That's my last name. I know it sounds weird. And I'll see you next Sunday. See you later, potato. <laughs>